Hi, this is Jody, and I stumbled upon this question and read it. Maybe I was bored, maybe I had lots of difficulties learning my pointers when I had to in my time. I don't know. Anyway, I thought it's good to give some explanation on this question because this is a good opportunity to have a not deeper, but have a proper look on how pointers works on C. The question is, I'm new to C, welcome. So I don't know what these pointers incrementations are doing in while loops. Thanks for the help. Okay, let's copy this program. Thank you, paper glassu for asking. Uh, I will go to my computer on my terminal, nk.c, cdc. I always run tmax. It will let you divide the screen, move between them. I will say, okay, program.c. In paste mode, I will paste it. So this is it. Now I can run this. For running it, I will say GCC program. It will be compiled. Now I have A out. I can run it like this. It will ask me, enter the first string, hider, enter the second string, Jody is here. As you can see, it will say, okay, the string after concatenation is hider, Jody is here. This character indicates that there was no new line and my shell created a new line by itself. To make it a little bit nicer, I can remove this. Also, I can run new line here to make it a little bit nicer. Sorry, what I did. And here we don't know a new, ni new line because after entering the first string, I'm automatically pressing enter. Let's compile it once more. GCC program, run the A out. Enter the first screen, hider, Jody here. And the concatenation is hider Jody here. But let's have a look how this program works. And by that, I mean, let's see how pointers work. When you start your program and you say, character AA100, BB100, practically you are saying to the C that create a pointer on the memory, call it AA, and assign equivalent place for 100 characters here. Then create a pointer which is B and assign somewhere in the memory with the capacity for 100 characters. This is what happens when you do this okay then you say enter first string okay it's right then you use get s a what does this do this will wait for a string entered by the user for example i would say hi here i want to say hi there here okay anyway it reads it and because you said write it in aa what it will do is it will write it here Hi, there. In C programming, when you want to end a string, it uses character zero. Notice, when I'm saying character A, it has an equivalent ASCII of 65, I think, if I'm not wrong. When I say space, if you want to show it like this or like this, it will be 32. When you say zero, the character, it has some number ASCII equivalent there. But here we are talking about the zero itself. What do I did? Here we are doing writing the zero itself. So it will write zero in the memory. This way, C ends the strings. So when I did this, I have that there. Later, what I will do is get as BB. It reads one string, hider, Jody here. If I enter Jody here, 
because I'm saying write it into the BB, it will find where BB is. Practically, it's a pointer pointing to this area. Beginning is here. So it will say Jadi here. And then a zero to finish the string. So this is up to here. Now the interesting part starts. It defines two new pointers. The first pointer is a pointer character which equals to AA. So when you are defining a pointer, this C will create one pointer in the memory and you can point it somewhere. The value of A is a pointer to somewhere. It says, okay, point it to AA. It will point to here, exactly, beginning of the AA. When you say car B, BB, it will create a new pointer called B and will point it to the beginning of the B. Uh, what practically pointer is? Pointer is a place in the memory. Somewhere is written here. But what is written? This address. So when you, if you print the A and having this, you will print the address of the AA in the memory. If you print star A, you are pointing whatever is stored in this address. So it will go here and will print H. This is the basics of the pointers. Okay, now we have this while loop. What does this do? It says while star A, whatever is stored in A. Now it's H because it's pointing here. Continue. And you know, in C, this will run till this is non-zero. Whatever is here, the loop will continue. If it's zero, the loop will stop. So what will happen? You will say, this while A points here, okay. Does A point to a zero? No. So increment A. A will point here. Is this zero? No. So go to the next one. While A is not pointing to the location with a zero inside it, increment A. A will point to this. Okay. I increase A. A will point here, will point here, will point here. Now it's pointing to the zero. So it will, it won't continue. It will stop here. Now A is pointing here. Let me clear it up a bit. Now A is pointing to here, B is pointing to here because it's like this after this time. Now it says same thing on while star B. Continue while B is not pointing to the zero. Do what? Whatever A points to. Inside that memory location, write something. Write what? Whatever B is pointing to. B is pointing to J. So Clear this and write J. Then increase B by 1. B will point to here. Increase A by 1. A will point to here. Do the same. Write this here. Write this here. Then increase. Write this here. We'll increase. Write this here. Increase. Write this here. And you will have here. And then at the end B will point to this one after increasing the B. And let me clear it up again a little bit. Okay, now B is pointing here and whatever you had here is written here. Jadi here. Now it says while star B. B is pointing to zero, not the character, the zero value. So it won't continue. And A is pointing here. What you will do is, you will put a zero here. So the C will know that this string is finished because strings will finish in zero in C. And then you will print A. This is how this program works. You can run it once more to make sure. Enter the first string, Jadi, here. Concatenation is Jadi here. The same logic we talked about. Two fun points. First, if you remove this line what will happen i will compile it once more gcc program 
a out and i will tell it jadi here what will happen here now a a is jadi and zero bb is here and zero now here you will create a pointer to this you will create a pointer to this you will start adding this to this so a a will change to jadi here but there is no trailing zero because we removed that line so everything is fine but we don't have this zero so if you tell c to print the a a in this line this fun thing will happen will c will start printing this 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 but there is no zero so it will continue as long as it reaches one zero or the size of the variable is finished let's see so jadi here it will tell jadi here once more jadi here jadi here why is that But let's talk about one more fun thing. What we have here is defining A with a capacity of 100 characters, defining B with capacity of 100 characters. Then we are using get S. Get S is not memory safe. When you say define A, it will define AA with a capacity of 100 characters. But when you say get S AA, you will read something from the keyboard or standard input and will write it here. Hopefully it's not 100 ca characters long, but if it is, it will break the system because it will continue to write into the memory as long as you've typed. And later, when you are trying to go through it, it will break the program or in worst cases will generate buffer overflow and these kind of stuff. This is a very, very, very common problem when writing C programs. Let me show you. When you are saying, if you say compile it again, although it is not needed, program, and when you type it, if you say 1924, this is 10 characters. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. One extra character. Now we have inputting more than 100 characters. When it writes this into the A, AA, which only has a capacity for 100 characters, it's writing it here and exiting by one character. You are corrupting the memory and the whole logic. So if I say add to this, this, you will see that your program will crash with the abort because it's seeing that, okay, I'm going longer than the possible place for this variable. Same thing can happen when you are doing this while, because if you give 80 characters here and 80 characters here, later the system will try to write into the memory all these 80 characters after these 80 characters, and it will increase the length of AA. This is a major issue in whatever program which is written in C. The programmer should be very careful not to go further than its arrays. Some programming languages, like Rust, are trying to prevent this on the compile time, which is why we call them safer languages. This doesn't mean that C is bad. C is too strong. You can shoot yourself with it. Anyway, I was, I'm not sure, sure why, but I felt like recording this short video and explaining this to you. Have fun.